Hi, today's video is going to be a quick look at Cromlex Orc Mech Boss in custom mecha armour. I've got all the pieces laid out here and uh, we'll start with um, with the body. So, as you probably know, I've got a few of these fellows and uh, the detailing is always good but uh, this particular set, they've really gone to town and it, it is fantastic. If you notice on one of these arms you've got a nondescript helmet of um, possibly some sort of space marine or or whatever you like really. As I say it's not uh, it does it's not tied to one particular range so you can use your imagination with that one. And the other arm. And you see the tanks, various cogs. Good old lightning symbol. Legs. And you've got a boss pole attachment. And um, I'm not sure what that bit is yet. I'm sure, I'll find out. This is the base. Again, absolutely superb. But you know, it's Cromlech stuff. This is this is what you get. It's uh, it's great. Now, this part is uh, part of the, well, don't want to say shock attack gun, but it, it probably is supposed to be one. Uh, and you've got various other bits that, um, that uh, are either to do with that or to do with a force field generator. Some nice funky engine bits. Look at that. Absolutely fantastic. And uh, because it's an orc in very heavy armour, you have to have either a power claw or a buzzsaw. Those are the rules. I didn't make them up, but you yeah, know, that's what you've got to do. Yeah. Some various bits and bobs. With the heads, what you tend to to get with the Cromlech mecha armour is you'll often get this sort of head or this sort of head. It'll give you a choice, but I think on the whole I prefer, and let's see if the camera will play ball here. It doesn't look like it's going to, let's just try and sneak up on it. No, okay. There we go. So I, I like that head better, but yeah, personal taste. And that will slot into uh, this part here. Ooh. Notice that on the back. That's nice. Um, and as always, because it's Cromlech and they're lovely people, they give you a little thank you card, which is nice. And a free head, or a free part of some sort. And this one is a little orc freebooter pirate head, which I think I'll probably use for something. It's not a bad one, that. Sometimes the uh, the faces on the, the Cromlech ones are not necessarily to my uh, to my taste but um yeah that one's pretty cool I like that one but as you can see the uh, the quality is absolutely first rate as it always is um as i say i've got quite a few of these and they are brilliant and what i shall do is make a second part to this 
when I've actually put it together and show you what it looks like then. Though, to be honest, obviously, if you want to see a you know, decent painted one, they've got pictures on the website as well. Uh, so, yeah, and that, that's it. I um, hope that was uh, interesting. And um, as always, when it's been built, I'll put it next to some other models to give you a sense of scale, which is often very helpful to people. Because they do work out quite a lot bigger than the, say, the 40k equivalents. So that's it. Thanks a lot.